Boxing is back and it's back on your TV screens tonight with the J4Joy Boxing Tournament happening at the Steve Tretta Banquet Hall in Middleburg and Bumalanga. Now to get more information on this tournament that will be taking place tonight, we are joined by the chairman of J4Joy and that is Mr. Jacob Mnisi. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us here on Sports on Morning Live. Morning. How are you? See where? I'm very well, thank you. Now, tonight is a big night. We've got seven bouts, 14 fighters, and we've got bouts that are being put on the line. We've got the South African lightweight champion. We know that he's going to be defending his yes. title, Tapiwa. Tell us more about what we can look forward to tonight in terms of a boxing action. Actually, the South African uh, title is our main bout. Then the main supporting bout is a WBF where Manteng is the challenger. And then also we've got a uh, provincial uh, title of which uh, we've launched recently a belt that boxers will be fighting for in Mbumalanga, which it is named after uh, Chief T.S. Lamini. It was launched last week in our uh, press conference. So there will be first time in the history the belt will be uh, available in the province. But we will be also introducing belts in other provinces. Mm. The next one that is following is by the belt, of which I've started with uh, King Zolitini before he passed on. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, unfortunately, the current king that is coming in, he knows about it, that it was part of our plan. Yes. To make sure that uh, that belt will be named after him in KZN. Then Eastern Cape, it will be the Kumkane because there are three of them. They then will go so on and so on. And you will cover all nine provinces all in South Africa. All nine provinces, Bafukeng and all these other provinces. We'll see how we name after each and every belt, mm. you know, after who and so forth and so forth. All right. But the provincial one is because uh, Chief T.S. Lamini, we, we know him very well because mm -hmm. he's the longest uh, he's the eldest, actually, yes. of the kings that are, st are still available in South Africa. Certainly. Now, speaking about tonight, we know it's a big one because your main bout, Chifua Munyai, I mean, we've seen this man over the years doing amazing things for the sports of boxing. And tonight he will be defending his title for what is the third and what he says is the final time. So certainly a lot on the line um, on that. Yeah, he has to win that, actually. Um, because I'm sure the opponent, the challenger, is also a very a, a good fighter. Uh, we don't know. He has to win this one. <laughs> because <laughs> what we want to do is to give more boxers opportunities so that they uh, become uh, internationally competitive. Mm. We want to bring boxing, uh, boxing back. Yes. And as you speak, Mr. Mnisi, about bringing boxing back, we know that you've entered into an agreement with the SABC to broadcast your fights, and this is part of bringing boxing back to the nation. But let's talk about perhaps some of the financial challenges that you faced as promoters. We know it hasn't been the easiest of times for boxing in this country, particularly with COVID-19. What are some of those financial challenges, and how have you managed to work around those to still be able to hold these boxing fight nights? Yeah, actually, um, I've got a company, j for joy Foods, which is funding everything. And the SABC had challenges in financing because it needs the crew that needs to be paid. It needs, they need to pay the right fees and all those things. We've waived all that. Mm. We said, SABC, just put in, plug in, put into your screen, and then motivate your uh, advertisers and start generating income. It's part of our economical spin-off that we are doing, actually. Yes. Then later, maybe we can start looking at that. But uh, those challenges have been covered by ourselves uh, to make sure that there are no things uh, in front of us that are blocking us from yes, bringing back the boxing. Certainly. And now we speak about, we've seen the rise of celebrity exhibition fights. And here in South Africa, I mean, this weekend, we have one involving Casper as well as NAC Music. Are we likely to see something of that sort coming from j for joy in terms of boxing? And what is your general um, thoughts in terms of celebrity exhibition fights? No, actually, we've got a different view about that because we are professional 
I mean, we are licensed and we are registered uh, promoter, promoters. We want to run things professionally because something, if happened in the ring, mm. somebody will answer questions. Yes. Because, uh, I mean, you've got to go through the process from amateur to, you know, championships, you know, mm. SA championships to be a professional boxer. I mean, you need to train and you need to go to some clinics or, you know, to be uh, checked whether we are not ill or whatever and so forth and so forth. Then even before the fights, we have to be checked properly by doctors, Yes. registered doctors. So we are going to be purely 100% uh, professional yeah. and keep it professional so that we can uh, be able to... But it's an excitement in any case. It's part of bringing bo boxing, boxing back, back so that people are... I mean, we are taking it back where it was, but we need to be careful about it. Mr. Misi, thank you so much for your time here this morning. We do look forward to this fight. And if you are sitting at home right now, you can catch the fights live on SABC Sports Channel. That's DTT. Also available on Telcom 1 at 8 p.m. And the fights will be live on SABC 2 from 10 p.m. onwards.